guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm with Kemi again. Hi. And we're going to answer the questions that you guys left in the comments of the Right to Buy video. So that was also another popular one and we thought it was best to answer the questions in video format. So Kemi's here again, kindly, and she's going to answer your questions. So let's get into it. So Zed Khan says, great video, very helpful. Just a question, are you able to use a lifetime ISA towards the deposit on your right to buy scheme if the property is less than 450K after discount? Thank you. Um, from, thanks for the question, but from what I know, um, I don't believe there are any restrictions um, with a lifetime ISA. It's not like a help to buy ISA. Um, whilst I don't want to borderline on advice, um, if you did have any other questions, you can um, get in contact with me. But essentially, whatever you do with your savings is pretty much up to you. Okay. So, Aria Ryan asks or says, Hi, I found a bridging finance company that do right to buy properties. Is it possible to buy my right to buy flat with the bridging finance, then refinance onto a buy to let mortgage? <laughs> Um, I guess we, with this question, what we've got to really go back to is the fact that um, right to buys are not set up to be rented out, mm -hmm. at least not within the first five years. Yeah, so we've got to look at the um, the reason that the government have things such as social housing. It's to help people on low incomes, and then you know, right to buy is to help people who live in those properties get onto the property ladder and own their own home. Um, if you have found a company who you know are offering bridging finance um, and then you want to remortgage to a buy to let, you would need to get permission from your local council and from, no, essentially from the local council. And as I said, just remember, right to, right to buy is not set up for you to buy and rent out. Um, but yeah, definitely speak to your local council about this and also speak to speak to a mortgage um, a mortgage broker. So if you wanted to ask more questions, you can contact Kemi if you wanted her to be a broker. Yeah. Okay, so RGN TV says, could I go on the mortgage with my parents with no debt but two defaults on my credit history? They are four years old, lol. Also, could I put down 10% of the total price of the property after discount? Um, again, I don't, I don't, because this is very specific to one case, what I don't want to do is um, give out actual mortgage advice without knowing the whole, um, the whole picture. Um, but typically with defaults, it's, it's all to do with lender criteria. And at the moment, because of COVID, um, the way that lenders view defaults, CCJs, missed payments is completely different to how it was in say 2019 and the beginning of 2020. Um, so I couldn't, I don't want to say yes, I don't want to say no. It's something that, you know, you would have to undergo a full mortgage assessment for, and then we'd have to look at different lenders. And um, so the, the way it would work is that it, there's so many different factors. So we'd look at when it was registered, we'd look at how much it was for, what it was for, um, whether it's been satisfied, when was it satisfied? You know, there are so many different components that, that fall into it. So there's no yes or no answer. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> So, Mrs. Unknown 1988 says, Can you buy your council property if you already own property? Um, I, I believe this is down to individual and um, local authorities. I don't, I don't believe that there's a law that explicitly says that you can't do that. Um, you would need to check with your local authority. Mm -hmm. um, but I did quickly go and check like the right to buy government um, website and it did say if it is your main home that that's the main criteria so um, I guess check with your council but mostly it has to be your, your main residence so I did respond to, to you with that link um, Mrs Onno. <laughs> okay Jita says hi I'm interested in buying my flat through housing association I have an assured tenancy I have been given the right to buy form I've lived there for 10 years this July should I wait till July or apply now I'm working full-time but I have a partner who doesn't live with me interested in buying with me his income is a lot higher than mine 
is this possible also explain more on building work costs is this added to the value of the building or extra costs i'd have to have to pay on top of the mortgage like insurance premiums okay very long question yeah <laughs> so i think we'll probably take it in two parts that um essentially uh, i believe that the way that housing associations and right to buys work is that if someone else is going to go on the mortgage with you they also need to be a tenant so if you're going to do a right to buy the people who go on the mortgage have to be named on the right to buy document if you're not you can't go on the mortgage so you'd have to address that first of all with your um with the housing association before that could be um, looked into um, in terms of the second part with regards to um, potential major work bills, so um, as we said in the other video, with the, the schedule of the major work bills, major work bill, it may not actually take place. So it's just an indication to say that if we were to carry out X, this amount of work, then this is potentially how much it could be. Um, no, it doesn't get added to the value of the building. Um, it's it's an extra cost. Um, I guess the the good thing about most councils is that and they don't expect you to pay the major works bill all at once. So normally they can come up with some sort of payment plan um, over a number of years, but it would be down to the individual speaking to their local authority to see what they could do about it. Okay. And also she mentioned that she'll be living there 10 years in July. Should she wait till July when it's 10 years to apply? Does, does, does a 10 year give her an extra discount or? Um, <laughs> um, I mean, if the 10 years doesn't give you an extra discount, I don't know, why wait? Um, yeah. it's, 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 again, it's all to do with circumstances. I think in this particular case, because um, it seems like the person wants to buy with the boyfriend who doesn't live live there, that's already a barrier because he won't be on the tenancy. So that needs to be sorted out, whether it's 10 years or not, you need to sort out whether or not you know you could potentially afford it on your own and if you can't and you need your boyfriend then you need to sort out the tendency okay um those are all our questions so again guys please like this video and don't forget to subscribe because i really know that you guys like these type of videos with kemi you've been you've been messaging her so please show the love subscribe share the video and we'll answer any more questions if you have them so leave them down below and maybe we'll do a second part to this Okay, thanks guys. See ya.